So I'm thinking a little bit about founders and how founders use their time. You know, there, there are lots of ways to dress up forwardly mapping. Um, one of them is to make sure that you understand the system that you're participating in. And I think that's a prerequisite for understanding whether or not you are creating a purposeful system, a purposeful organization, what have you. And if you are a founder, eventually that means that if you're succeeding in some way, eventually you'll end up hiring people, which means now you'll compound any problems that you have in the purpose department, in the intentionality department. So here's my thought. Um, there's this idea of attention economics, and I think people are giving credit to Herbert Simon for really focusing in on this. He's got this quote here that I'll read to you. In an information-rich world, the wealth of information means a dearth of something else, a scarcity of whatever it is that information consumes. What information consumes is rather obvious. It consumes the attention of its recipients. Hence, a wealth of information creates a poverty of attention and a need to allocate that attention efficiently among the overabundance of information sources that might consume it. So if you're a founder, I think you're probably overwhelmed. Too many sources of information, not really sure which thing is indicative of, a, of you needing to make another decision or change focus. And I think that is causing you to make an error of omission. So there's this idea by Akoff, thanks to friends at Practice Flow and Jay Bloom in particular for pointing me at this, this idea of a difference between two different kinds of mistakes, one being an error of commission where you do something you shouldn't do, and an error of omission where you don't do something that you should do. And the problem is, in the systems that we have, errors of commission are the only one that are actually tracked because you're, uh, it's obvious, right? If something bad happens, you go back and figure out why and what, what it was that caused it to happen. Whereas the system is not often tracking for errors where things haven't happened unless you specifically design for that problem. So the error of omission being made here is that you're not being purposeful about where to allocate your time just because you're overloaded, you're not sure which signals are, are important enough to signal that you must switch focus. Or, I mean, any, any sort of deep focus as a founder is a, a luxury, right? Because you constantly have to keep all these spinning plates up in the air. So if you do get that chance, of course you're going to go with the more comfortable things, the things you, that you already know. Uh, the problem is you don't know what you don't know. Worthy mapping is a way to discover what you don't know. Just by modeling the system, you'll notice the gaps. That's where I'm at right now. I have probably five videos worth of content around that. I'm curious if people who are even interested in this, if people want this or not. Um, if you are someone who feels like you don't know whether or not you're investing your time appropriately in your organization, let me know and let me know what that feels like. I would like to understand this problem more deeply and figure out if I should talk more about this content or not.